Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to our wonderful Wobbles Project Zomboid. Mathis, where is Zomboid been? People have been shouting at me. Uh, a couple things. First, the death of in the last episode was really infuriating and my initial plan was just take like a day or two and cool down. Um, then I actually got in my head a really cool idea that I wanted to do that um, would be Project Zomboid like on the channel, but not quite Project Zomboid. And I started working on that. Um, however, I decided that while I'm still going to do that new thing that was initially supposed to replace Project Zomboid, uh, I'm still going to do that on the channel. Uh, it's taking a little while because there's a big learning curve involved with that game, and uh, I'm still working on it. If you follow my streams or Twitter, then you probably know what I'm talking about. However, I'm, I, I also decided people love Zomboid and I love the game, so why not just do both? Why not just continue Zomboid and also do the new thing? So. While I'm maybe a day or two away from posting the first episode of that new series, which I'm, again, very excited for, um, we're going to continue Zomboid. I am going to start a new world, though. I I'm going to start brand uh, new survival, as I was doing prior, um, and uh, go ahead and do experimental vehicles. And we're just going to start a brand new character in Muldrow like we were before, and hopefully the... Uh, we'll, we'll have better luck. Um, people have said in the comments that my death was kind of bullshit last episode, that my mouse was on the zombie, and uh, when I played back the episode, yeah, no, my mouse is on the zombie, so the game was just facing me the wrong way for some reason. Uh, I'm gonna get too salty about it. It's about a week out now. I'm not feeling too upset about it. Uh, I'm ready to start fresh, and uh, Brendan Stewart is gonna be our new survivor here. Brendan Stewart, uh, you know what, dude? This is just you, man. I'm down. This is who you are. What was Brendan Stewart? As a, as a good question. What was Brendan Stewart in his pre-apocalypse life? Uh, I always have a tendency to go for Lumberjack, and people have said, you know, Lumberjack is actually really, really good, and you should probably stick with it, at least for now, and I agree. Uh, so we're probably going to stick with Lumberjack. You know, um, Brendan was a Lumberjack prior to, which I, I assume that is obviously you know, an actual job in real life still, but, um, I can't imagine it's a common one anymore. And, uh, I'm gonna do what I always do, which is, people have been saying hypochondriac, um, makes you or ups your virus infection, uh, and it can actually make you infected, uh, or increases your chance of doing it. From my understanding, and from what other people are actually also saying, and I think I'm right, it doesn't actually increase the odds of you getting infected. What it does is it increases the odds of you showing symptoms of being infected. And right when, like, the symptoms would lead up to you starting to take damage or having a fever, it goes away. Uh, and that's how I've always seen hypochondriac in the past. And that's how I believe it actually does work. Unless it was changed. Um, it was... It was a, uh... That's how it used to work in, in the past, and I imagine that's how it still works now. Uh, I mean, that's how it works in real life, hypochondriac. You, you think you have these symptoms of, of, this, of, of this illness, but you're not actually sick. So, it's a good negative trait in my opinion because it makes you feel like, you know, it gives you some points, and while you might have panic moments, it's probably just hypochondriac acting up uh, as your negative trait. I also want to take um, the other one that I'm usually okay taking, which is... I can't remember the name of it. Hang on. I got to find it. Is it... Panic. Yep. Yeah. So, panic when performing first aid on self. Cannot perform first aid on others. That That's actually a really good trait to take, in my opinion. Other than that, um, we'll take some positive ones. Fast healer is not bad. Fast learner is also not bad. Um, but I kind of like things like, um, Lightfoot Nimble. That's actually really good, but that's like, that's five points right out the gate. I might just take it. I don't think I've ever really taken Gymnast before. Um, let's take Gymnast. Why not? Where'd it go? Gymnast. Why is this not alphabetical? Can I, oh, because it's, it's sorted by point spending. There we go. All right, and let's, uh, shit, man. Let's just, let's go. Our old Lumberjack is rather nimble. Uh, he's a little bit of a hypochondriac, but that's okay. He, he doesn't like the sight of blood, I guess. I don't know, man. It's it's weird. Um, but we're going in. I'm excited. Here we go. Back into Muldrow and hopefully for a better start. I, I hope we actually have a decent starting spot as well as we dive back into Zomboid for episode 11, uh, I believe this is. Because I think episode 10 was the last one and I got murderized, but I guess we'll find out all in due time. Oop, there we go. I saw the frames drop for a second, then go all the way back up, which usually means the game is done loading. 
The music is hitching, which means the game is loading. And it is. Are you ready for popcorn on Thursdays? Okay. Looks like we once again... Uh, we're going to turn this off. We once again start in the trailer park. Um, which seems to happen often. And it seems this is going to be our... Oh, no, I want... That's ours. This is going to be our starting zone. And that's all right. I'm, I'm down for it. I'm down. Um, I'm going to grab this towel on the chance of rain. And we're going to drink some water. And we're going to continue on. Uh, right out the gate, the very first thing we want, outside of that, obviously, which is great, is, is some sort of carrying bag. Plastic bags are kind of bad, but I'll take it. Can opener is a fantastic find. And are you? we're going to kind of just look for our usual start of really uh, just valuable things like bags, uh, non-perishables, while still taking perishables. Uh, but non-perishables are more important to me uh, for the initial stock. Um, we're going to hope that we're not going to get too surrounded or that we don't have too many zombies in the area. And if we actually go to our character skills, boom, our accuracy is up and we have nimble and light-footed right away. Nimble and light-footed means I think we can move a lot quieter while also not necessarily needing to sprint. One, two, three, four zombies around. Oop, oop, all right. Game hitched there when I decided to right-click. Oh, we're right where we used to. Ooh, look at that. We can take a look at that uh, taxi in a bit and see if there's anything worth grabbing in there. I don't see a zombie, so I'm going to try and pop this. And I'm going to run right around to the front door. And see if we can just kind of exit out or pop it open. Just keep it unlocked. Let's close this window. Alright, we've got a good start right away. I'm actually very, very happy with the start. There's a little bit... Silly of me to kind of just run in there. But we're all right. Oh. Well, it looks like the uh, previous resident of this place decided to overdose. Um, for one reason or another. The good thing is that she left bottles around. The bad thing is I can only pick up, like, one of them. <laughs> As opposed to, like, any of the five. Still, uh, looks like she was... Maybe just, she clearly wasn't bitten, because she would be a zombie. Um, maybe she just gave up and, and figured, you know, it wasn't worth trying to, to survive. Maybe she lost her loved ones uh, and ended up just kind of hanging out and, and deciding, you know, that it wasn't worth it. And she went out by overdosing on alcohol, I guess. Which I assume is a thing you can you clearly can do. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's hilarious, actually. First of all... Cool, there's some rust textures on these cars. I don't think I saw that last time. Second of all, uh, that's got to be a bug. Um, let's take a look. We can inspect this vehicle. See if any of these are working remotely. If they are, we could take a look at it. Oh, that's different. So there was an update, clearly. Uh, overall condition is 85. The engine is broken on this thing. Everything else looks okay. Gas tank is there. Is there no way to find out... Bodywork, engine door, windows, doors, lights, brakes, seats, other tires. So only our left uh, rear tire is remotely damaged. Everything else is really good. And the gas tank, I assume that means it's 50% full and not necessarily 50% working? Let's see if we can get into this. Ooh, a, na a noise. All right, nothing in it. That I mean, that sound is horribly low quality but i'm all right with it it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to actually click on the car though engine is okay 52 percent this is a car we might be able to take i don't know if we can oh, we walked through it i don't have the key okay no key around so and if i wanted to Oh, it's on empty. So, no key. I would love to take a car out and get into Muldrow proper at some point. For But that's alright. We're fine for now. There's a lot of options here. If we can get a key, or if we can... I don't know if we can hotwire it, but I'd love to I'd love to take a car. That's, that's cool. A lot of car options here. But, um, no keys right now. A lot of blood everywhere. 
I can't see? That's fine. Okay, there's somebody in that room over there. Four car keys! Well, there we go. We likely have what we need. Let's go ahead and close the curtains here. I'm gonna leave him in there. Actually, let's 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 loot the mini fridge first. Yeah. I'm gonna leave him in there. Actually, I might I might try and kill him off. Oop! Maybe not. I really have no weapon right now. And I don't necessarily want to risk a fight. But if I can push him down. That's unfortunate. None of... Alright, she fell over once, but that's it. Oh, God, Matt, this, he almost got bit again. I don't think we did. We're not in pain. But we'll double, we'll double check here in a second. I was hoping he was going to automatically push her. Yeah, she bruised us. Basically, she hit us hard. Probably clocked us right in the arm. But, uh, didn't really do much else for us. Okay. I'd prefer to get a weapon early on. That leads into there. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go let the zombie out of the back room. It's cause the banging is annoying. Yep, 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 yep. How many? Two? At least two. I'm gonna pull her to the side here. She, she's a lot faster, but she's a lot more fragile than this guy. Well, I mean, who knows? This guy could be equally fragile. Yep, he was. But she was a lot faster, and in doing so, a lot more dangerous. Uh, but it looks like the back window was busted open, so they came in through the back window into the bathroom. My guess is that maybe one of the zombies uh, was already in here and causing a ruckus, and it caused the, brought the attention of another one who ended up finding his way into there. Well, we actually have a nice place we could actually crash at least for a few days if we will just want to hit up the trailer park. And uh we can spend some time here. I mean, we have car keys. So, I'm I'm actually interested in in, in hanging out here. Oh shit. Get out. Ooh. Jesus. One bathroom zombie? I expected. Two? No, I did not expect two. I don't want to go that way. Okay. It's fine. Wow, I almost died again. That was scary, scary, scary. We've already got almost, what, ten zombie kills under our belt? Just with pushing and stomping? Woo! Talk about a spook, man. This motel was a popular place. Wonder if it was just a cheap knockoff stop uh, on the way. To like, to Muldrow. We have four Zeds kind of just packed very, very tightly over there. Any, any surprise noise or anything is probably going to attract them. I wish... I know it's going to come eventually. I wish there was a way we could just, like, peek around corners without actually putting our entire bodies in there, man. Whew. Alright. Second floor. One Zed. Gonna kind of just take a look around. They're being kind of moved. Ooh, we've got more than one. So let's see what we can do. Dang it. Oh. We've 
We've got one in there. Back rooms, man. The back rooms seem very, very active right now. This room is now officially locked. Oh, okay. Hey, guy. How's it going? Ooh, they are all very, very interested in what's happening over here. Um, we may have to back off here for now. For whatever reason, eventually they ended up getting attracted to the banging and it took them a while. The window breaking happened and they didn't really react, so I, I struggle to think that the, the window breaking is what brought them here. But they are going upstairs. And if I can draw one or two away from the stairs, we can actually take this pod, quote unquote, of zombies and, and deal with them separately. So two went up the stairs. Okay, there we go. And two did not. That's good, that's good, that's good. I don't really want to worry about these guys so much. Down. Okay. It's trying to knock him down. Oh god. Okay, one or two foot stomps with a backup plan, aka backing up, works out miraculously nicely for us. Come on, man. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. We're, we're exerting ourselves by just trying to take out these zombies hand to hand like this. And uh, it's taking a lot for us to start stomping them to, to death at this point, which is not necessarily a good thing. It means our character's getting tired. Let's go ahead and drink. And fill up our water bottle in the process. I'm tempted to just jump in this car, man. I just don't know how well they drive. So that, that pod, though, is gone. We can actually maybe tackle this thing over here now. Let's go over here, yeah. I hear stomping. I'm trying to, I think it's just still upstairs. More cars. Man, There's a lot more cars going on. At the same time, there is still a store over there. I don't know, I may not want to leave. Let's just stay over here. Any alarm? Did the alarm go off? No. We're good. I just want to get in. Close it. Check this room real quick. We're clear. Close the door. Bathroom's a little bit nervous, but I can see through the window and I don't see anything. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Alright, we turn this off. Though they seem to be, at the very least, accustomed to the noise as they're not really coming towards it. This is good. Equip this is our primary. We're getting a little hungry. We do have food. You know what? We have we have a good chunk of, of fresh food as well. So let's go ahead and eat the pie slice before it goes bad. And we'll replace our pie slice with another one. And we are very, very full from that, which is good. Now we do have a store, if we zoom out, the food market, yeah, so we're, we're actually back where we were. There's another car key over there. Alright, I kind of want to grab, I assume it's a car key, could be a house key, I doubt it is though. Down. Down. We're full and we have a weapon. So that's good. Okay, this I'm assuming is a car key, it is. So again, probably another one for one of these. And another one there. This, is a, this new build is like fucking 
overloaded with cars. Not complaining, it's just weird. So these, both these windows have been completely smashed in. So getting food out of here is going to be... I hesitate to say difficult, especially if that was the only two that were in there, but less safe is, the, is a better word. I don't, I don't need to crawl through. I can just pop it. Why close that door? Why not? You know what? If we are going to hole up here, at least temporarily, why bother going through there? Hmm. Yeah, let's go over here. My thought process there, in case you're wondering why I stopped, is like, do I really want to hole up in the same place? But I haven't really gotten a good start in this place yet. I've had a death, especially the last one, which was, I hesitate to say unfair, but a little unfair. We're getting hot. I, ha I don't know. We might want to take our, our shirt off. But as long as this house is safe and no alarm goes off, we might be able to just relax here. We've got maybe two zombies, one there. I heard one down here. Oh, one close, at least. I really want to kill off him. Oh, there's two. She heard, and then, yeah, she walked through some trees. Oh, there's three. Fudge. Without a, 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 a kitchen knife or a butcher's knife, like, wow, she's fast. Uh, instant killing is just impossible. Getting the knockdown there was very, very, very lucky. But we're good. So he stopped. I think it's because we broke sight. And he was only following the noise. Yeah, he, he got stuck in the trees. Good, good, good. Good start, good start, good start, good start. Good. Okay. Wait. Okay, no house alarm. Good. So the first thing I want to do is secure the house. Uh, which means going upstairs. And then after that, getting sheets on all the windows is step one. And closing whatever curtains I have. Okay. The upstairs is a little scary because it's, it's kind of narrow. There's not a lot of wiggle room if there is zombies up here. But we're good. Why are the curtains on the outside of this window? All right. Well, excuse me? Well, that'll do it. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Thank God there was something there. I didn't click on anything and I wasn't pressing the E key, so he kind of did that on his own. Uh, is, the is the light on yet? Yeah, light's on. Lights need to be turned off. There's so many lights. Uh, light, light, turning off the lights is important. It gives a zombie sight. So we don't want to deal with uh, zombies seeing us, especially at night. At night is equally the most dangerous and yet the most safe time. So making sure they have no, no way to see us is good. I think this is where we're going to stop episode 11. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the story here of our good friend Brandon has only just begun, the old lumberjack. I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I hope you guys are excited, and uh, thank you guys again for the support on the series. It, it means a lot, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.